G'day everyone, Ali here. I've got these album refills that I've purchased from Kmart and they came in a five pack and they're an eight inch by eight inch. And today I'm gonna make a photo album dedicated to my late fur baby, Charlie, who passed away not very long ago. So first of all, I'm gonna make the back and front covers out of this really strong cardboard. Now, I did get this cardboard from some old folders, so um, I'm just recycling those. So because it's really strong cardboard, uh, I'm just going to get my craft knife and just cut it to size. So these photo album pages are cut with uh, three hole punches, so it's for a three ring binder, but I don't want to put it in a three ring binder. I am going to cover this first with some duct tape and just fold it over just like this to cover up those holes because what I'm going to do is I have a zutter here and I am going to bind it with some wire coils. Now I am going to need to find my middle point of this page as a template so I can cut all my pages exactly the same so they're going to all line up and also I'll need to do this for my back and front covers as well. Now because I've used uh, duct tape just to give this some strength because it's like a plastic I have had to just cut some of those little bits that didn't cut out properly just with my scissors. So now I'm going to do my back and front covers here and I'm going to use the same template here uh, for my covers so once again they'll all line up together. So my covers and my pages are all cut in exactly the same places so this will make everything uh, line up correctly when I bind it with my zutter. So I've just marked the inside of my covers back and front just with an up and down because I don't want any mistakes happening so I'm going to cover this. I've got some Kazercraft Timeless 12 inch paper here and I'm just going to go through and just pick out some vintage uh, type of paper because I love the vintage look. I also have this uh, die here now I think this is a Kazercraft die, little moments big memories so which Charlie did give us in the time that we had him. So I've cut this out three times just of black cardstock and I've got some multi matte medium here uh, by Ranger that I'm just going to glue this all together just to give it some dimension. I've got some black fine glitter paint by Deco Art here and I'm going to paint uh, my little sentiment here. But first of all I'm just going to just make sure that the matte medium is all dried off and then I'll just give it a few layers of this paint. It should show up with a very fine glitter through the black and that's what I'm looking for. Now onto my covers. So I've picked these two um, pieces of paper. They are 12 inch by 12 inch and I haven't cut them down. So I'm just gonna use my Mod Podge and just give it a layer of Mod Podge. And then I'm just gonna eyeball my cardstock down, front down. So the inside cover is face up. 
And I'm just going to do the same with the back cover. So just apply some Mod Podge and then just pop the back cover face down and the inside face up. And I'm just going to leave these uh, to dry and I'll just do the next little stage. So this is my Charlie uh, that passed away just recently and what I want to do is I just want to frame him up. So this is just old cardstock that I've got and I'm just going to glue it all together. So just for that added dimension, just like my sentiment uh, as well. So I will eventually be painting this uh, with the same uh, deco art black fine glitter paint so I'm not real too bothered about what color cardstock that I'm using to give this dimension. So I'm just going to give this a coat of white gesso just all over just before applying my paint. So before I uh, paint the glitter paint onto my frame, I will just paint it with some metallic black pearl um, all over. So, because uh, I just thought that the uh, white may show through. What I should have actually done was just use black gesso, not white, but I wasn't thinking. So it doesn't matter, um, all good and I'm sure it'll turn out. So now I've painted the metallic black pearl all over, I'm just going to paint this fine glitter in black all over. So now my covers are dry, I'm just going to finish these off and I'm just folding over each side just carefully just so it doesn't crack the paper and I'll also cut away the corners so this will make it a little bit easier to glue down. So I'll do the back cover exactly the same with the same process so just making sure that I don't crack that paper and just glue it down in place. use some contrasting paper from the same paper pad and just to cover the inside um, of my covers. Now I do cut it with about one and a half inches in from the edge of the cover so um, this will finish off the inside nicely. Now because I'm covering up the inside and I don't know which is up and which is down, I'm just going to get a post-it note and just put on the front which is up and which is down and which is going to be my binding side. Just so uh, the holes, because they're already punched out, will be punched out again.
Now that's all done, I'm just going to just mount my picture of Charlie in this frame here. And I did cover the picture with an old iPad cover. You know the flimsy plastic covers? I had a iPad cover that I didn't use, so I actually put that over the photo and it was a mat. So just to protect it a little bit more. I do put some foam underneath just to give it some added dimension and I'll just add some vintage photo in Distress Oxide just around the edge just to give it that added uh, vintage look. So all I have left to do is just to bind my album together. So this is the wire that you use uh, with the Zutter. Um, I'm just going to clip all my pages together because I just find it a lot easier just to thread the wire through. Then I'll thread on my covers and I'll just clip this all together or bind it with my Zutter. Now this Zutter I purchased off Marketplace or Facebook and I didn't pay much for it and it was second hand and it works perfectly. So it's a great addition to the craft room um, and as you can see it's uh, binded it quite well. So I'll just clip the overhang and there's my album done. So I'm going to have so much fun filling this up with great memories that we had with Charlie. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, don't forget that notification bell. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya.